Being so close to the armored vehicle made Ayaka nervous. As she looked around the corner, she tried to see if anyone was in the front area. Unfortunately, the large vehicle blocked the view of the area where the gas pump stations were located. But just from listening to their surroundings, there were no sounds of footsteps. Ayaka breathed a sigh of relief. Feeling a tug, Ayaka looked back to see Kawa. Safe? Kawa mouthed. Raising a hand and tilting it back and forth, Ayaka indicated that she was uncertain. A shrug of her shoulders at the end, adding to the effect of her message. With a hand motion, Kawa suggested that they go around the vehicle. Nodding, Ayaka slowly moved forward to the front of the vehicle. Once she was in front of it, a thought crossed Ayaka's mind. Standing up slightly, she placed a hand on the hood of the vehicle. It's cold, Ayaka thought to herself, realizing that the vehicle was likely the same one that she had seen earlier. If it had been warm, then it would mean whoever drove it just arrived. The fact that it's cool to the touch indicates the engine hasn't been running in a while. Checking on the others, all of them looked back at Ayaka as though trying to figure out what she was doing. They've been here for a while, Ayaka whispered. Yes, in fact, I have been here for a while. A woman's voice interrupted them. Ayaka screamed at the unknown voice as she whirled around to find out who it belonged to. It was a woman with medium black hair, slightly taller than her. She was wearing the military uniform that the self-defense force wore. On her uniform was the name Tanaka. There was also her rank, but it wasn't something that Ayaka was familiar with. Where did the four of you come from? Tanaka asked, one hand placed on top of her sidearm. It was clear that she didn't have any issues in using the gun, but was confident that it wasn't going to be necessary when handling kids. Noticing that Tanaka hadn't pulled out the gun, Ayaka took that as the woman not being in immediate danger to them. What made her more relaxed was the fact that the soldier was a woman, and not a man. Slowly raising both hands, Ayaka said, We are from a base that was overrun by those monsters. We had run into the forest in the hopes of getting away from them. Hanaka's eyes flickered to look at the others before returning to focus on Ayaka. Are there any more of you? Ayaka shook her head. There was a visual release of tension on the soldier's body after hearing that there weren't any more of them hiding somewhere. Seeing that the soldier believed her so easily, Ayaka was surprised. How long had the four of you been in the forest? Tanaka's eyes checked on each of them. Judging by your appearance, it's been, what, several weeks? That's right, Ayaka said. We tried to search for food, but we couldn't tell what was poisonous and what wasn't. So we decided on not testing it out. There was a small smile on Tanaka's lips. It's probably a good idea. It might not have killed you, but getting sick out there in the wilderness would have probably led to your situation becoming worse, even fatal. You all look like walking skeletons. Pursing her lips. Well, you might as well get some food from inside. At the mention of food, all of them brightened up. Motioning with a hand, Hanaka walked away from them towards the store.